Now, it's a dark period of Chinese history, rarely referred to by the country's leadership. But the spectre of the Cultural Revolution was at the heart of a speech by China's Premier Wen Jiabao. In an uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically emotional address, he said that without economic and political reform, the country risked returning to the mass disorder of the late 60s and early 70s, when millions died. Our Asia correspondent John Sparks reports. They raised the flag at dawn, part of the daily routine on Tiananmen Square, but the National People's Congress, well, that comes to Beijing just once a year. It's a sort of 10-day parliament, overseen by the country's leaders, where bills are introduced and inevitably approved. And then the rarest of things, a press conference. 15 or so pre-selected journalists given a chance to ask the country's premier, Wen Jiaobao, a question. He began modestly. There's still much room for improvement in my work. But Wen Jiaobao is running out of time. This is last year in power. So he used the occasion to deliver a warning. Reform in China has come to a critical stage. Without successful political reform, it is impossible for us to institute economic reform. Indeed, gains we have made may be lost. Talk of political reform from one of China's most powerful men. Well, Grandpa Wen, as he's affectionately known, offered no specific proposals, although he said that failure to reform may prove disastrous. Such historical tragedies as the Cultural Revolution may happen again. It's a pointed reference to a period of instability and hardship. Mao's egalitarian revolution resulted in the persecution and deaths of millions in the late 1960s and 70s. And what about Tibet? More than two dozen monks have set themselves on fire in protest of Chinese rule. Over the last year, there has been a spate of self-immolation. Young Tibetans are innocent, and we feel deeply distressed by their behavior. He said economic growth would solve the problem. It's a call for reform that's both interesting and vague, leaving departing delegates to wonder what Wen Jiabao really thinks.